Well, the Lowcountry is home to nearly 300 tech companies, including startups and established businesses. News 2's Colby Thielen is live for us in the Alert Center. And Colby, this scene has earned the name here around here, the Silicon Harbor. Yeah, Brad, in 2016, Charleston was ranked third in the nation for high-tech GDP growth and the fastest growing city of its size for IT jobs. Well, two years later, it doesn't seem to be slowing down. So we sat down with three tech companies here to find out what makes Charleston an ideal place. It's got a combination of, of old and historic and important and new and progressive at the same time. For Levi Morehouse, describing the vibe in Charleston was a bit tricky, but moving his business here from Michigan in 2013 was not. Charleston really stood out as a place that talent, especially talent early in their career, which we have a ton of, is very interested in being in Charleston and starting their career here. This is our product team. His company, Ceteris, provides accounting and benchmark reporting for small businesses. And in the last 18 months, grew from 30 people to 130 people. And they're not alone. Last year, Charleston's tech scene grew twice the national rate. But it wasn't always that way. It started off slowly. It was really hard to bring someone to Charleston to work in tech because it was this job and nothing else. Jen Bolwear is the senior director of engineering at Snag a Job, an online employment website. She says job diversification is what's bringing more people to the area and with them a growing community. We're all going through a lot of the same things and how can we help each other rise up? Bolwear is a member of Women in Tech, a meetup that started a few years ago and now has hundreds of members who meet often. People are willing to share knowledge and experience here. They're not um, they're not so competitive that they won't help one another. Nina Magnesson is the chairperson of the board for women in tech, as well as a catalyst for citizenship and social innovation at Boomtown, an online platform for real estate. I was looking for a quality of life. She know, says so Charleston will always have the edge when it comes to livability. We have a thriving tech sector here. People who want to do cutting edge work can have a beautiful quality of life with a work life balance. Now, to find and recruit talent, a website called Open Source was created. And if you're interested in one of these jobs, you can find the link for Open Source on my Twitter page, at ColbyWCBD. In the Alert Center, Colby Thielen, Count on Two.